In this USP review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software USP. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for USP. USP is a software that generates awesome royalty-free AI pictures. This is what you should see once you've first created your account or are even logging in once again. So this is the dashboard page. I'm gonna quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. So straight off the bat, up here in the top left-hand corner is the USP logo. This is actually clickable like most software's logos are on the dashboard. And if you click on that, it should take you to this main page like this. All the way to the right-hand side of that, you can see it says get lifetime access, which you can actually pay for the software if you enjoy it and you want any lifetime access for this software. To the right of that, you have the dashboard page, which should take you to the dashboard once you click on it. To the right of that, you have any projects, where it should take you to your projects once you click on it. And then to the right of that, you have help. If you actually need any help within the software, you can just go ahead and click on that. And then finally, we have the account section. If you click on this little arrow to the right of it, it should bring up the dashboard or even sign out if you wish to do so. Right above that, you can also check out their roadmap if you want to do that. And then below, you can actually add USP.AI to Chrome. If you want to go ahead and just use it straight off your Chrome browser and not keep going onto the actual website itself. So below this, you can actually create your royalty free images with AI. And then all you need is to write what your project is about and we will create fantastic AI image for you. And this is where you go ahead and create your project. Right below that, it gives you your account usage. Again, we're on the free version, so we don't actually have much usage. However, you can go ahead and get lifetime access if you want to pay for it. To the right that you have your last images, we haven't done anything yet, so there's nothing here yet. But once you've gone ahead and created projects, this is where they should show up. You can also buy credits all the way to here if you don't want lifetime access and it shows you how many credits you have left. So we're gonna go ahead now and actually click create project to go ahead and start going through the main features and the main point of the software. So once you wanna go ahead and click create project, it's right here, you'd click create project button. Right here, it should take you to the next page or the next area where you can start creating your project. Right here, it says enter project details and this is where you'd enter your project details. So we're gonna name the project just review and then right below it says your project type where you change the type of it. You can go through all of these and see which one actually correlates to you, but we're gonna go ahead and just click creative. Right here it says your preferred style and you can go ahead and change your preferred style. Again, from a lot of variety, but we'll just go with, what is my preferred style? Let's go with abstract. So then once you've done all that, you go ahead and click create in the bottom right hand corner. And this should now take you to the next page where you can actually start generating your new AI image. So right here it says generate new AI image and you'd enter your description or anything like that about the AI image that you want to create. So right here it gives you a little example like a unicorn flying and it would give you the image results right there from the AI system. So we're going to go ahead and type in the first thing that pops into my head. Let's go with, with a dog in space. A dog in space. We're going to go with that just to see if the AI can actually generate it. Right below that it says choose image ratio and this is just where you choose the image ratio of your image. So you can have it from square to portrait or to landscape. Let's just keep it square for now. Right below that it says your style, you can change it from abstract or to anything else if you wanna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and keep it as abstract. Finally, there's more options and if you click on that, you can change all of these options like an ambient light or even have it as realistic. I'm actually gonna go ahead and click realistic because I wanna see how the AI actually generates any form of realism. So you can clear selection if you are not happy with it, but once you are happy with your descriptions, you can go ahead and click create, and it should appear on the right hand side. So we're gonna go ahead and click create right here, and then it gives it a few seconds where it says I'm working on it. And there you go, it gives you the image results of a dog in space, abstract, realistic, abstract. So right here is my AI image that I have created of a dog in space. Pretty decent. It doesn't really look like space to me, but who am I to judge? I don't know what space looks like in the vast universe. So once you are back on the dashboard, you can see your last images right here. And now you can see I have 
the little dog in space that I created. Right here it now says show my projects and once I go ahead and click on that it takes me to the project section where it shows my project that I just made. I can actually archive this project if I want to or enter it if I want to do that as well. We're going to go ahead and click create another project up in the top right hand corner by clicking create a project. Once you click that you go through the same details again, we're going to just name it reviews 2. Change your project type, let's go with personal, preferred style, um, 3D render and then click create. So now it takes you back to this page where you can go ahead and actually generate another new AI image. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a dystopian city. So once I've wrote in that, I'd go ahead and now change the image ratio again. We're going to go with a different one this time. Let's go with landscape. And then you change the style. I'm keeping it as 3D render. And then you'd add any more options if you want to do that. But I'm going to leave it as none for now. Again, once you're happy with your creation area, you go ahead and click create and wait for the AI to go ahead and work its magic. And there you go, it's came up with a Dystopian City 3D render. This is actually a pretty cool picture, I can actually like this. And it is really good for the AI image to generate something like this. You can actually go ahead and click this button right in the bottom right hand corner right here, which actually downloads the image. As you can see, I've just clicked it and it downloads the image. So that's pretty much it. Once you go back to the dashboard page again, it should pop up with your last images. And there you go, I now have two credits used out of my five. It shows you how many credits I have left. I can actually redeem a kit if I want more credits. But that's pretty much it for this software area. And there you go, that is it for the USP software review. Overall, I think it's a great software for AI generation images. And I think it's really well integrated with the AI itself. A few features I liked is how easy it actually is to create the AI images. By just clicking create a project you type in a few details and it comes up with the ai image that you actually typed in pretty accurate as well it doesn't come up with anything randomly new or even anything added to it on its own it's really well integrated would i recommend this to anyone yes i would anyone looking for these type of softwares this is one of the best out there again since it's so simplistic and so easy to use i also like how it has a lot of free credits to begin with but you can also buy more if you wish to do so. Overall, I think it's a great software. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.